guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a lip swatch video for the uh, Ofra New York collection. They just released three new shades. Um, I will also be doing three additional bonus shade swatches for you just because I happen to also have these colors. And uh, But I just thought, you know, I am a New York City girl, so I really want to represent. So when they came out with this New York themed launch for their liquid lipsticks, I was all about it. Um, for those of you who don't already know my feelings on Ofra liquid lipsticks, they are my absolute favorite formula. They are the most comfortable. They uh, just wear really well throughout the day. I never get that weird, like, crusty thing where you start to, like, bite your inner lip because it's just getting really dry. I find that they're really moisturizing, and I really, really, really just... I just love them. If you haven't tried them, you should definitely get your hands on some. There are some beautiful shades out there. And uh, let's get right into the video, shall we? So the first shade on the list is probably going to be the most popular. This is Staten Island. It is sort of a muted, browny, mauve nude. It kind of has that gray undertone that's so popular right now. Um, this is really, really gorgeous. This is probably, in my opinion, like going to be just everybody's favorite. I feel like this is really wearable while still being trendy with that like kind of grayish undertone. I just think this is really pretty. Next we have Times Square. This is one of two sort of overlay uh, liquid lipsticks. These aren't as pigmented as some of the other ones, but it's because they're meant to be layered on top of other ones. You'll see when I do the swatch on my own lips, they never get fully opaque, and that is on purpose. It allows whatever's underneath to shine through. I know putting this on by itself seems kind of pointless for that reason, but I just want you to see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the opacity and its purpose. Next is Fifth Avenue. This is another overlay. This one is gold. I wore this on Snapchat a little while ago. If you saw, this one is slightly more pigmented. I um, mean, it's definitely more of a dusty, bronzy gold than a pure, true, you know, brick of gold color. You can wear this on its own if you want to, but I think layering this on top of like a nice brown really will just let it really shine. I think this is actually really pretty. And with the right look, I guess you could wear this on its own. I mean, you do you, boo. I'm not going to tell you what to do. All right, here we have Manhattan, another favorite. Um, this is also another extremely wearable, sort of pinky, mauve brown. I'm sorry that when I was trying to make this video, this just got like oddly cropped and I could not fix it. <laughs> but as you can see, this is a dusty rose with a little bit of purple undertone to it. Uh, again, really super wearable. And on somebody with a lot darker skin than me, this will actually be kind of a nudie shade I would picture, but because I'm so fair, this looks really dark. <laughs> One of my favorites, as you can tell. <laughs> now we have a surprising favorite. This is Brooklyn. This is going to be super popular. This is a dupe for the Kylie Jenner True Brown K. This is just like your standard brown, mid-level, mid-tone brown. On me, this looks really dark, again, because I'm so fair and I have light hair. This is just like the color right now. Everybody's rocking this like genuine brown lip and I thought I would hate it, but you know what? I actually kind of love it. I didn't think this would work on my skin tone, but all right, I guess I have to give it up. It does look pretty nice, I think. I mean, if you think it looks like crap, uh, keep that to yourself. I don't know. <laughs> Next, we have Harlem. Again, I'm not sure what the cropping situation is with this. I'm sorry. But this is very similar in the bottle to Brooklyn. But when you actually put it on your lips, it's definitely more purple. It's got like a dark, plummy brown. Really interesting. Never really seen a color like this before where it's like equal parts plum and brown. Really, really beautiful. Very similar to the um, Brooklyn shade, but like you can tell, this has like a sort of plummy, deep, deep plum undertone to it while still being brown. These darker shades, you do have to layer a little bit more. You can see they can be a little patchy. Um, that could also just be because I didn't really take my time. <laughs> Once you get the opacity going, they are really beautiful. Now for the Bronx, which is like the black shade, which was kind of scary. I didn't know what to expect from this. But as you can see from the swatch, it's not a true black. It's more of a gray, almost like hunter green, forest green black with like those kinds of undertones. 
So this actually makes it really wearable. I didn't hate this on myself. Um, when you do your top lip first, it looks like you have a mustache, which is pretty funny. I really thought this was very wearable. I was actually really, really surprised how much I actually kind of liked it. I think on somebody darker skin than me, it would actually be a very wearable shade, shockingly enough. So don't discount this one just because it's black. <laughs> Then I wanted to show you what it looks like when you layer one of these overlays on top. I chose the silver and black just so you could really see what it does. You can see it's just kind of barely there. You can intensify it even more if you want. I just put this in the center to kind of give an ombre look to it. Almost made it look kind of bluish, right? Kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but I just wanted to show you what these overlays were capable of. They're not completely opaque as you can see. They just kind of change and modify the colors underneath, which I think is really, really cool. And I totally hate myself because I forgot to actually swatch queens for you. So this is just like a quick shot so you can see with the flash so it gives you kind of a true color. It is a almost true plummy purple. Really beautiful with some pink undertones. Now for some that are not in the New York collection, this is Americano. This is really one of my favorites. It's a cinnamon sort of light brown with a little bit of a red undertone. Like I said, cinnamon color is like the perfect way to describe this. This is another extremely wearable brown shade for all skin tones. I find this very flattering and this is one I think would go really, really beautifully with that gold overlay. I think in the fall that would just be stunning or for like a special occasion. Uh, I just really like this look. And here we have Rio. This is probably my most worn shade only because it's perfect for putting in the center of the lip to lighten it up. As you can see, it is a sort of true peach nude shade. You can wear this all by itself, obviously, especially if you are really tan. I feel like this color is just going to make you look like a bronze goddess. I'm really fair, so I'm not a huge fan of pure peaches on me. I prefer to, you know, like I said, layer this with a, you know, pink on like the outer corners. But it's very pretty and, like I said, extremely, extremely wearable. One of those, like, everyday must-have shades. And last but not least is the shade that got me in love with the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lips in the first place. This is Santa Ana. I'm obsessed. Don't mind me. <laughs> this shade is just like a pure rose color. No dusty rose to it. Just pure rose. That beautiful shade of pink that's flattering on every single person. I just absolutely love this color. I don't have anything like it in my collection. It's a very wearable deep pink. That is a great replacement for red if you don't want to go that bold. It's definitely wearable for daytime and nighttime. I just think it's really flattering. I really like it. Feel free to disagree, but that's just me. So that does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like me, if you like my channel, my video, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Big thank you to Ofra Cosmetics for sending me these um, products to swatch for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.